Yo, what's good? This is Dylan from Producer Grind. Today I'm about to show you guys Serato Sample. This is kind of my little review and preview of it. First of all, shout out to Stolen Drums for putting me onto this plugin. When he came to the office and did the podcast, I had showed him some of my lo-fi beats. And uh, he had pulled out his um, setup and showed me Serato Sample. Because up until this point, I've been using uh, SliceX and Fruity Slicer. But um, this is basically the Fruity... Uh, this is basically Slice X but um just doper right now i don't i don't mean that in a bad way to slice x because to be honest i haven't even really dove too much into learning about slice x i really kind of just uh used it for the basics serato sample just seemed easier at first like just uh you know a, a slice x is kind of intimidating at first when you pull it up it's got a lot of buttons a lot of knobs and stuff like that serato sample is just a simpler version similar to how halftime is a simpler version of gross beat and it seems doper to people because the different settings. That's kind of exactly how I feel about this. Now, uh, I'm just using the free trial. I haven't even bought it yet. It's $99, but I'm definitely going to grab it up as soon as the trial is over. Um, I've made a couple beats using it, um, including this one right here. This is actually, you can check it out on Spotify right here. It's called Bahama Water. Make sure you also check out Asparagus, the album that was dropped about a month ago. But getting back to the review here, I got Serato Sample pulled up. Now, first, I'm just going to pull up a blank Serato so you can see exactly, you know, what happens when you open it. So there, I just pull up Serato and you can't even do anything until you load a file. I'm going to load the lo-fi number 16 from our lo-fi sample pack. This is actually the one I use for this beat. So I'll go ahead and play you the sample just by itself. Now, um, right here, first of all, um, these settings right here. If you do the top one, I don't know what the, exactly they're called, but if you do the top one, it's basically like putting a hold on. It's only going to play as long as you hold the key down, and this one will just continue to play through. So we'll go ahead and click play so you can just hear the sample. Shout out to Hez for putting this dope sample pack together. It is available on our website, and there is a link in the description. to Check it out. So yeah, that is the sample right there. First thing I do when I pull up a sample is I um, click click find samples. Now they give you a few options where you can just have them randomly place the, the markers around, set slicer and find samples. Uh, I usually like to go with find samples. This is what happens when you click it. It kind of just goes through the sample and selects the uh, what it thinks are the best chops. And now you can keep clicking it and it will keep giving you new chops. So, you know, a lot of times in, you know, uh, Slice X and Fruity Slice, I would go and find my own chops. But these days I'm pretty lazy and I just like to have the computer find it for me. And I just keep messing around until I find something I like. So uh, we'll just go with this one right here. Now, you'll notice here the chops go, um, you know, along with your keyboard. So first of all, you got if you're in FL Studio. Make sure you are in Layout Piano and I believe C3. Let me see. Okay, now nah, I Oh, yeah. Yep, okay, so when you're on C3 and Layout Piano, it'll be lined up perfectly with these keys that you see here. Now, as you just heard, um, you know, you can play your chops out. And then you can also go into keyboard mode. Um, and I think you can play and you can play out um, that that particular note in you know transpose you can transpose that particular note across the keyboard across the octaves I usually don't do that I haven't really you know done that yet but it is an option So as you can see, you know, it's pretty it's pretty uh, easy to start uh, messing around and doing the chops. Now, you can change the note, for instance, you can change that particular key just on the one that's highlighted. And if you want to make changes to all, you just go ahead and click select all. And then now whatever changes you make down here is going to cross the whole, affect the whole keyboard. See what I'm saying? Versus if I didn't select all, 
you can mess you can make this one super low or whatever you want but it will still keep that uh, all the other ones the same now another thing you can do is this filter and I usually like to apply this to all so you'll hear it regularly it is a little touchy for some reason I don't know if it's the MacBook there we go So, you know, it just puts a low pass and high pass on it. And um, you can do these for all the notes, like I said, or you can do it to just some of them. So if you want some to be more low than others. And, you know, that, um, you know, it gives you a different effect. You can also do almost like a, it's just an attack, but if you uh, don't know how to do a side chain, it's a little kind of uh, cheat way to do a side chain, I guess. And, uh, you know, even if you're not going for that side chain effect, it's still a dope effect. I still, you know, put it on most of the time when I use it. Um, now if you want to just, and another dope thing that it does is it gives you the key of the sample whenever you pull it in. So this is G minor and you can just change the whole thing up here if you want to. So as you can see, it's, it's really fun to mess around with this and that was just, you know, only click and find samples once. Sometimes I got to click it a few times, especially with certain samples to get some dope chops. Now, let me show you one more thing that's really dope. I'm going to select all and then click reverse. Select all, then click reverse. Now it's going to play all my chops in reverse. And, um, you know, that's a dope effect. You can do it for all of them like I just did. Or you can do it for just certain ones. So all the other ones will be regular, but that will be reversed. What? No, that was D. Just another dope effect you can do. Um... And uh, pretty much, though, that's that's the basics. Oh, another dope thing, you can have it sync. Like, as you can see, this sample has been synced to the tempo. So it automatically detects the tempo. And then you can sync. And uh, you can, if you don't want it to sync, you can just adjust it yourself. Sort of just the speed in the sample. So it does a pretty good job of syncing it. Sometimes it's not always right, but it does a pretty good job. So as you can see, it's faster. Um, so that's pretty much what I do with Serato Sample. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I used it. I, I used that same sample to... Um, let me delete that. I used that same sample to make this beat. Like I said, go ahead, check it out on Spotify. Um, this is another dope uh, free VST that I'm going to be showing you guys about too. It's called Ample Bass. And um, you can see how I use it in this beat. I'll do another uh, more in-depth video showing it. So we'll pull up the Serato sample. And, okay, that's the counter melody. This is the main melody right here. So this is that same sample I just pulled up. Um, only go ahead with this lo-fi beat. So pay attention um, to the ending part right here. You'll see the filters. I have different filter settings for each note, and that kind of gives it a different um, 
more dynamic effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just listen here at the end, then I'm gonna show you right here on the filter. You'll see the filter just the filter knob changing. And you know that wasn't me doing it any type of formula. I was literally just moving the filter knob on certain notes. Uh, it, this was after I had created the melody. So first I made the melody, then I went and just you know changed them to how what I thought sounded good, and that you know that's how that came out. Now another, let me show you another thing. Um, so this this particular this particular loop right here in our Lo-Fi Vibe sample pack comes with a counter melody. So this is the main melody. And that's, and that's the counter melody played again. So I did the same thing and I pulled that into Serato sample. And as you can see right here. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and show you the counter melody I did. I basically chopped up the counter melody and did it into my own counter melody. There you go. Just pay attention to um, the Serato sample and, um, you know, the different knob movements and the different, um, you know, chops being played. I'll turn it up too so it's a little more obvious. Yes, definitely check out Ample Bass too. It's really dope. I'm gonna do a video with this exact beat, uh, breaking it down how I did that and just uh, you know going over that BST. But I can't recommend Serato Sample enough, especially if you're making uh, lo-fi beats or any type of beats. You know, it just helps you get creative, especially with using loops and loop packs instead of just throwing them in there and throwing drums on them. This gives you the opportunity to you know chop them up and do different things with them and kind of um, bring back that that older feel, especially with the lo-fi joints. So go ahead, click the link in the description to check out Serato Sample. They give it to you free for like 31 days, a whole month, so you can mess around with it, see if it's something that you like, and um, if you like it, buy it. And also, make sure you guys check out this Lo-Fi Vibe sample pack. I'll uh, include that link in the description. And also, check out Asparagus on Spotify. I'm going to go ahead and drop a link for that description too. Peace.